What is happening guys? Call of Duty Black Ops Kid here coming at you with another awesome video. Today, we're going to be doing another controller review and the last one I did was the Power A Spectra RGB. Now this controller is really good. It's for X the original Xbox and the PC and it's a really good controller. I continue to use it. The my only problem is that the headphone jack kind of went out within like a, it just went out recently and obviously I could just replace it if I really wanted to. Same thing with any controllers that you get if they're whatever messed up, you can always return them, get another one or get refund back. So I bought this on Amazon for $35. And I was browsing on Facebook when I noticed another controller. This one is the Power A Spectra Illumina Infinity. And uh, this is the Xbox Series S and X version, although you can use it on the Xbox One. Uh, it's a great controller. Um, it has the share button and a volume control knob, unlike this one here. Um, it has RGB, obviously, because you can see the RGB modes on it. Um, and it has the headphone jack, ma mappable buttons, uh, anti-friction rings, and uh, soft touch faceplate. So let's really compare the two since I've already unboxed it for you guys. This is it being in its RGB mode. And one major difference that I've found is that this one can do a color cycle this one only can do independent modes and zones to do rgb and it doesn't really do color cycle so that's one of the biggest problems i have with this so far this is the rgb um xbox and this is the xbox series s so that you can obviously change these but let's look at some of the functions here obviously there's a share button here so you can share to the xbox series s and x on the xbox version it doesn't really do anything this is a volume control, so when you plug in a headset, you can turn the volume down or turn the volume up. A really cool feature, honestly. I think that's a really good one. One also major difference is that these have grips right here on the back. It's really hard to see, but they do have grips. If the camera focuses on the back, whereas the other one does not have that. It just it's smooth so that's another interesting touch well my biggest downside is the rgb 100 percent so there's two one there's a programmable button all you had to do to program that you press it till this middle button blinks right in the center you press the button you want mapped whoops once it starts blinking say you want the a button on the right one so you press the a button it starts rapidly flashing then you press whatever trigger you want that to map. So now when I press that, it will press the A button. So RGB mapping, it's completely different than the other one. This one, you just press the RGB button and it cycles through the colors until you get to the end. Then it starts doing all the colors. So, so now that I press it, it'll start color changing. This one is different. When you press the button down, the top of it will still start blinking. Now you can change this by pressing a b x y and it will change different colors see that so now you can change it to whatever one you want um and we'll go red you can press up or down to change the intensity of it see now it's off but we're gonna turn that back up and also pressing left on the D-pad will initiate the breathing cycle. So now it will breathe. Um, it's kind of cool. There's some really cool customization here. Not going to lie. But and then if you press right on the D-pad while you're in the color changing mode, it will blink the next section. So you can change that to whatever color. Check this one to the next one. And then press the button again. And then once you're ready to accept, I'm going to go down here, change these guys all the way up. And then once you're ready to accept, you just hold the LED button. And it will all flash and you're good to go. So it is cool with customization, but there's not a single color pattern and it kind of does all of them at once. I've read the manual multiple times. There's no way to unfortunately change this. 
I will say this is one of the coolest controllers in terms of major customization, but in terms of being able to customize every option like you can with the other style is kind of inaccurate, uh, kind of inferior in my personal opinion, just because you have complete color changing modes that change. I thought that was a cool feature. Although this is cool because you can change whatever colors you want in certain sections, but you can't. The only way to really change them to be all one color is to change individual modes and match them. So that's the biggest problem I have with this. But other than that, it does fully work on the Xbox One, the original Xbox. I've tried it on the Xbox One X, but not the Xbox One S. But if it works with the other two, it's got to work with all three. So um, obviously it does work with next-gen consoles. It works with the PC. I've used it right now on it and it works completely fine um the volume button doesn't do anything on pc and it does do something on the original xbox the only thing that doesn't work on the original xbox is the share button because there is no sharing compatibility uh that i'm aware of uh and it didn't work for mine but it could work for yours it could just be a bug um i can't really confirm that right off the back because you know i only have two xboxes so um, it's a really good controller. I do like the grips. Um, the, the controller feels good. Uh, the tension triggers is something I didn't really mention either. The tension triggers is if you want less, less retention. So if you want to say, shoot a semi-automatic pistol and you want to shoot it faster, this will initiate that. The only problem is if you do this, you turn, if you try to drive a vehicle, say in war zone, you're not pressing the trigger all the way down. Therefore it is not accelerating at its most fast. So that goes for both triggers. They both have it. So if you want to akimbo, if you want to half aim down sight, it will um, initiate that as well. It's very cool in terms of that. But like I said, it's got the two programmable buttons. And the best part is it's only 35 bucks. The same as the competitor. Obviously, this is meant for the Xbox One X and Series X because of the two different buttons. But other than that, it's pretty much identical except for the inferior RGB modes in my personal opinion. Although that... It's still a, a meaningful purchase. If you're trying to find one, I'd recommend this one or the other Power A variants that are just the base models that have the programmable buttons, no RGB, and no tension triggers. That's one I would also recommend. You can find those on Amazon for 25 bucks. And uh, there's a pot the the um there's some other controllers I would definitely recommend. It's gonna be at the end of the video or in the uh, description. Um, I have a thing for all of the um videos that i've done reviews on in the past and in the future um i definitely recommend getting one of these because like i said they're they're probably one of the best controllers and you don't have to spend much money on the original so um i definitely would tell you to check out the in-depth controller for the power a spectra Ilu enhanced illuminated rgb controller um for the original and where i go more into depth there also is a afterglow pdp that one's thirty dollars so I would recommend those as well, unless you really want to go the full Xbox One wireless and go that route. You definitely can, um, although you will be missing a couple of the features, the tension triggers, the RGB, and um, you know that kind of thing. So um, other than that, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. I I really did enjoy this controller. I really wish the RGB was a little bit better. I was really kind of disappointed in that term uh, for that one. So thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching the videos and the supporting the channel. Subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Liking the video so it goes out to more people would be appreciated. And honestly, uh, let me guys know if you've got bought either of these controllers. Um, they're really good. I do use them uh, every once in a while when I have games that require no <laughs> keyboard and mouse because I mainly play PC. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.